What's up guys, it's Michael here again. In this video, we're gonna talk about the bringing back and upcoming of Magline Home Economics, meaning they're trying to bring back classes that are related to anything with housework or house chores. And I find that to be really important because I saw this article by Market Watch stating that they're planning to bring this back because during the pandemic, a lot of people are staying at home. They didn't know how to do a lot of housework. And when I saw that, it was a step towards the right direction. Because if you think about it, these day and age, most people in my age, a millennial, Gen Z, whatever generation they call it, most people don't know how to do housework at home. And it's basically like a basic survival skill. And I find it really intriguing that this is the step towards the right direction is because if that is the case, because, you know, all the your basic science, math classes, history classes, yes, those are important. But at the same time, economics and financial classes are, are even more essential, in my opinion. Because if you think about it, when you go out to the workforce, you have no idea how it works. Experience is a better learning opportunity than reading from a book. Reading for a book gives you a third party view, basically an overview of what's going on until you actually get into the action of it. Then you realize what are difficulties and what are necessities you need to know. So the reason why I find this really important is because if this is the case, why not teach financial and mental health? Those two classes can basically correlate with the current classes they're trying to push forward. So because cooking classes, you think about it, you think a cook don't really make much money, right? Wrong. If you look past to all the statistics they give out, which majority of the cooks, if you look at the really specialty ones or the ones that know how the economy works, how financially works, they make a ton of money. It's like, for example, there was a series called 30 Jobs. And it's a, it's a major television series that came out where a guy came out, he basically interviewed people who do really dirty housework. Basically jobs that people think you won't make a lot of money, such as, you know, fixing plumbing, fixing your sewage system, open, operating a farm. People think, oh, like, that, that's not like blue collar work. That's all the dirty work. They don't make anything. Reality, when you look past all the media and all the BS, you realize they are multimillionaires. It's just they're a specialty in their own craft that is required in this day and age in society. So when I see this article, they're trying to bring back cooking and simple housework. It allows people to think outside a box. It's like, hey, I know how to do these, use these skills. I know how to survive on my own. Why not kick, take this an opportunity and kick it up a notch and turn it into a business? And once you turn a business, it's basically becoming more financial sense. You start to think find more financially. How do I make this work? You start asking yourself more questions that you can eventually find answers for. Because in the beginning, if you don't ask the question, then you never take the first step forward to become financially successful. Meaning is you never gave the thought where you can do this, where you can do that. You don't know. So I find it really interesting and unique. And what is really major about towards this goal is cooking can branch out to a lot of different skills and same with carpentry they call it light carpentry but at the same time like you know woodwork woodwork can lead to many other different things you can start making composites different types of plastics it'll eventually grow out so composites and you think about it plastics when they come out you can branch it out from woodworking because woodworking is just you know a basic skill that requires a lot of technique because reading a book there's so much you can do because when you take carpentry, for example, once you learn woodworking, you might want to try different things because, you know, doing the same thing over and over again gets really boring. But when it gets boring, the good thing is it lets you think outside a box. And if this is the case, if this class, these type of classes become mandatory in school, the most interesting is they might actually listen to majority of, or I can't really call it a majority, a really specific niche of people call it financial class and mental health. Because if you think about it, if those two come into play, then it's a really great thing. It started to allow people to think financial options. Like for example, if you go to college, like I mentioned a lot of times in my previous videos, some people don't know what they want to do in the future. They don't know how to set goals for themselves. They just basically choose classes and degrees are basically a waste of time. And if you think more financially and you think what do you want to do, what you want to set up in life, if you do that, sometimes college is not the right answer. But if it is the right answer, then take the right set of goals and courses and degrees. That's why I find this type of learning system to be way more beneficial than your traditional. It's always learning math, they're always learning science, always learning history. Like, great. They won't teach you to live in society eventually, right? When you go out to go out and work, you have to learn all these skills anyways. And why not just learn in school before you actually get the experience physically? So if they're bringing back these type of classes, there's a lot of huge benefits. It's the right step in the towards the right direction. I really hope that this is actually going to pass because based as far as art, what I see in this article, they're right now rethinking their strategy and schooling system because 
Let's face it, like I mentioned before, follow the money. If you follow the money, how the school system works, you can see they're just basically making people into employees. They're not turning them into business owners. Basically meaning they're not even giving you an opportunity. Since school is supposed to basically teach you to, for the future to be an employee, but they don't want to offer the ability to become a business owner. So I think they should do that. But at the same time, there's a, I mean, I see the reason why they don't want to do it because they do that. A lot of people are like, you know, see a big change in portion and people don't want to go in school anymore. If kids don't go to school, such as high school, college, they lose money. That's the problem with it. And at the same time, you know, you can, they can argue like, hey, being more educated makes you mentally more stable, you know, better mental health. But like in the same time, that's been proven wrong multiple times too, because they don't, why not teach a mental health class? That'll be an even better option. And financially at the end, if this type of class curriculum decide to become mandatory, I can see in the future they can find, offer financial classes to teach the majority of the kids in high school and to college. I wish in my time they had this, but at the end I had to learn it myself and now I'm teaching you guys on YouTube if you're watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Peace.